because we are indeed going to Kazakhstan. This uh, year they have chosen uh, Yasan internally and the song, I'm not going to try to uh, pronounce it, but it does mean something along the lines of don't waste your dreams. Well, I fell in love with this song with uh, during the first listen, um, and it's even more growing to me. Um, it's just cute this overload. The whole video clip, the whole music video, is just cute this overload. And when the song finished, it finishes in a very silent way, and I was like, I don't dare to say anything because I don't want to ruin the beauty of it. And uh, I think it's just a mix of Disney, Frozen, with some Eastern European elements. And there is some instrument in it, and I don't know what it is, but it sounds so mysterious, and it makes the country even more mysterious. And I was absolutely dumbstruck by this song when I first heard it. It was absolutely incredible. Thank you for translating this title for me. I actually don't know if this works across borders, but... I originally thought this was the Kazakh for kitchen sink because <laughs> everything was thrown at this. Yes, you have your Disney style stuff, but the build and the crescendos through this are ridiculous. And I mean that both in a positive way and in a negative way. This song is too much. And it shows exactly how much Kazakhstan is trying to take junior Eurovision seriously it's mine it was my number two um but it's, it is now my number three um he's just got such a strong voice and he out i mean if you compare it, it just reminds me of, of like pastora soler in in quedate conmigo but really those really amazing long sort of um, notes it's, and, and he actually out pastora so it's if it were adults only voting i think this would win um, it may not appeal so much to the children, the, ch the children voters, um, as much. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm uh, uh, being unfair there. I think Kazakhstan is a nice song. I think it's a cute song, and the music video is definitely the best of the ones that we have this year. It's very well produced, and it's been mentioned on the show here. Kazakhstan is doing everything they can to show the EBU that they are 110% serious about this contest, so it makes a lot of sense. For me, it's not a contender to win, because it's just it's too non-offensive to the point where I feel like if you are picking out five songs to vote for, you're picking five songs that stands out for you. And for me, I can barely remember how this song sounds, and I've heard it a few times. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but it's not a, it's not a song that really sticks in your mind. That's my opinion. 